Uh, good morning, everyone. I hope you are doing well. Um, first of all, uh, I have to say it, it's very weird to talk uh, in English to many friends here. It's, uh, I, I really envy Joel Santana because probably he wasn't so nervous uh, as I am here right now. So I don't know if I, I start talking like Joel Santana, but probably it's, a, it's bad to think about uh, what Akita showed uh, in, the, in the opening, opening talk. So um, I, was, uh, I will talk about the WebVR and uh, a little bit of presentation first. Um, it's not. It's not working. Now working. Uh, my name is Thiago, as I keep to present me. Uh, I'm 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 over ten years uh, of uh, of work experience in web development. Uh, you can find me looking for that username uh, on social on social profiles like uh, GitHub, uh, Twitter, and uh, please reach me out uh, if you if you want. Uh, let's talk about something. Um, I'm front end developer at Codemine for two, and uh, we we are. Uh, uh, for for uh, for who know about the code miner, we are software development uh, consulting, and we have offices in most uh, Brazilian states. Um, uh, we have local and foreign and foreign customers, and it's pretty pretty nice. Uh, I I really like that uh, that approach. And for just say we are hiring, so. Here our email address, but I'm here to talk about WebVR. And uh, uh, before talk uh, the specific uh, the specific subject uh, that is WebVR, we need to talk about VR. So virtual reality, uh, a reality created. Uh, by computers, and uh, it's the experience of a world that doesn't actually exist. So when you interact uh, with this kind of world, you are having a VR experience. So when we talk about uh, uh, virtual reality, we talk about Oculus Rift. Why we talk about Oculus Rift? Because uh, Oculus Rift was the pioneer uh, of VR. Uh, that's why is always re related with it. Um, there, uh, there are others uh, VR gadgets, uh, as you know, but the most of these gadgets were inspired by Oculus Rift. And when we talk about uh, VR, we talk about gaming because uh, the most uh, the most examples of VR is in games, as you know. It's, uh, it's a, a hot market to, to development. But we have an educational and training approach. Um, this, this example is so important uh, as, as gaming. But we have other, uh, much other uh, fields of study, like journalism, architecture, engineering, uh, medicine, psychology, and much more. Um, if, uh, if I can say uh, something, uh, if you are deaf, uh, you must pay attention uh, on how, how to use VR because uh, you can improve your customer experience using that. It's, uh, it's very important to uh, look, uh, uh, look to this kind of, uh, of development. It's, uh, we are talking about user experience. It's very important. Um, so following this subject, uh, I will start to talk about WebVR API. WebVR API allows us to build VR experience on the web. Uh, this, this API provides interfaces to handle VR gadgets on browsers. It's, a, it's, it's, it's very, 
how how can I say it's, uh, it's uh, I like that because the the web uh, uh, w walking uh, a new step of of evolution, and uh, this specification is currently under active development. So we start with the questions. Uh, so if we, if it is is still in development, how to use, how to to implement uh, uh, applications using WebPair. So uh, for uh, for a while we have only some uh, modern browsers, but uh, we, we have some uh, some some features uh, hidden. On the on the on the browsers in the as specific as holes, um, OS. Sorry, um, you can you can see that, and can I use? Uh, let me see, and uh, you can figure out more details in this in this URL. Uh, as I, I was saying, how to enjoy. Um, if it, if it isn't support, see if browsers don't uh, doesn't support, how to enjoy WebVR? Uh, when talk about uh, new features in the web development, uh, mainly in front end uh, environment, uh, I, I, I will I will say about the web components. Uh, what do we do to enjoy such new features like web components? We create polyfills. We build polyfills, and for web uh, for web VR is is not different. We have web VR polyfill. Uh, this polyfill allows you build VR uh, applications in in many different browsers. Uh, you can access web VR API right now, but you need to implement all the features. If you want to integrate uh, Oculus Rift in a, on a browser, you need to create the connection. And it, it's a problem. I, I think uh, I think like a, a, a developer. I'm thinking in the product, the final product. I want to to develop uh, my product, the the experience for my user. I, I don't. I don't want to care about uh, how to structure my project. So, for do that, we have Mozilla doing what Mozilla does. Uh, Mozilla is the web VR pioneer. Uh, the company uh, built the Frame IO. It's a uh, nowadays a Frame is the the best web VR framework, and. Uh, you need really look at uh, uh, this framework. Uh, what, what, what's good, what, what's very nice in this framework? Uh, it has many tools and features ready to be used, like uh, 3D models. It's, uh, it's built over 3JS. Who, who knows 3JS? Please? Thank you. Uh, it's over. It's uh, it's built over 3JS. Um, we can create uh, that uh, that integration of uh, VR devices handling. Uh, you can move your hands uh, on the on the VR world. It's everything done. It's ready to be used in this framework. And uh, another thing, it's very special in this framework. Uh, is you can you, you can write the code like HTML code uh, HTML tag. Sorry, uh, if you if you know uh, X tags from Mozilla, you understand why why they put this this kind of approach in the in the frame I/O. So we have we have the polyfill uh, over we have the framework. So. What more, uh, which more we need to to build uh, web VR applications. So we need to generate content. And now I will start to talk uh, uh, about uh, about a complex a complex field because 
first of all, we we have we have uh, we need this kind of cameras. I can look there. This kind of cameras uh, to film and take pictures in 360 degrees. Uh, okay, we, I have the content. This is the content for WebVR. And okay, move on. Interaction. How I interact with the the content built with that that kind of cameras. I need the VR devices. And we talk about HC, uh, Oculus Rift, and others. And now I will say what the problem. Sorry for for who's uh, uh, have this this kind of device, but it's too expensive. And I, I'm a developer, and I, I'm not expert in VR development, so. Uh, I'm a nerd. I'm a developer. I went to to try on new technologies. I went to 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 get some library and do something to to really to really see the result. Uh, generally, we don't have budget to buy cool stuff, and uh, but we like to try try on new technologies. Unfortunately. We need these gadgets to enjoy WebVR. So I have uh, I have some minutes just uh, in in my talk, and if I if you real uh, believe in in that in that approach, we need to spend more much uh, much money with uh, with gadgets. So we are done. I don't have more what to talk to you. Just install the frame, buy some cameras, buy Oculus Rift, and have a fun. But I was talking about the user experience. And uh, user experience need, need to be cared. In, in we need care about our users. So. I I I can't uh, ex, uh, expect uh, the all all my I'm, all my customers all, all my users will need to buy uh, uh, Oculus Rift, and my probably the the title of my talk is wrong because the title is how to enjoy WebVR right now, and I told you how to enjoy buy a camera buy Oculus Rift. Install a frame, so you will enjoy. So uh, instead of this current title, I decided to change the title of my my talk. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the title, how we should enjoy WebVR right now. Now, uh, I will talk about things we can really touch. Uh, cardboard. Uh, who knows cardboard? Nice. We have the cardboard, and it's, uh, in my opinion, it's one of the most uh, important uh, uh, creation of uh, of Google, because I, I have a, a cardboard box huh? with, with lenses, and uh, the the resource of my content. Is my is my smartphone? It's a it's a I I don't know I I would say gadget. Uh, it's a, a technology, it's a mobile device that every everyone have uh, nowadays. It's a, it's simple. I can put it, this this thing inside of a, a cardboard box. So for me, it's uh, one of the most important creations in the web development, and of course the web VR. Why I'm say that? Because if I if I install a frame I/O and combine and cre create a, a page uh, in, in a frame is called a scene. Um, I, I create a scene in a frame. I I publish. I have a, a website with a 
uh, sorry, our web, our web VR application, I can access my smartphone because I have browser in, on smartphones. And I can put inside of this card bo box and I have experience. And as I said, a frame uh, has all the features that you need. So I, I don't need to do things like that. I, I don't need to split the, the, the screen in my, in my search codes. The, uh, sorry, the, the frame will do for me that. So, uh, so it, it, it's, uh, it's amazing. Uh, but uh, uh, as, you, as you saw that, I talk, I just talk about uh, 360 degrees images and movies. And uh, uh, can we do more? than just this kind of visualization, because I have a cardboard. So I, I just look around, and it's OK. It's, a, it's my VR experience. Uh, uh, come, uh, come back for the, for the subject, user experience. So think about that. Uh, I, I create a project called environment. Hello? Yeah, environment. <laughs> nice. Thank you. And this environment, uh, 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 creating this, the, this project, I was trying to discover, uh, and discover how to improve the user experience with WebVR. Of course, this, uh, this if, if you see it in the, the GitHub, I will show you. Uh, it's an organization. Why it's an organization? Because my idea, uh, it will cover all my web VR experiments. So if I, I create components, if I create uh, new, uh, new scenes, if I create models, uh, everything will be covered by environment. So I start, I, I, I have started my experiments. The first one, a boilerplate. So, uh, I have the URL, so uh, I will, I will publish my slides. You can you can see that uh, after. So this this boilerplate is very fun because uh, I released this week to show you uh, in the in the conference. Uh, I have the, the explaining how how to do that, and uh, it it. I didn't sleep last night because I was very nervous. So, <laughs> and uh, I, I have drunk a lot of energy drinks. Uh, it's uh, I don't know what will happen when uh, finish here. If I sleep forever, or I don't know. Uh, so I create that, and uh, I didn't have how, how to show you how easy it is to use that. It's uh, I, I, I'm I'm very proud about this project, and. Uh, so I create some gifts to, to show you, because you have j just three steps to, to run a new project to work with uh, A-Frame and Webpack and Babel and Nunjux. I will explain it, but first, first step, I need just clone the project. Okay, uh, wait, finish, because the internet's now. It's a gift. Uh. <laughs> okay, finish. Okay, we have now installed the npm packages. So install npm. Okay, I know. So internet's terrible today. <laughs> and after the last step, yarn starts. So you really install what we need. And now you have the server. After that, you can uh, you can access a, a blank page, but you will have some samples like this: uh, a scene of image you can manipulate, and you have this you have this icon. Uh, it's provided by by a frame. If you if you push this this button, we will split. The, the screen for mobile device. Uh, moving on, Babel and Webpack. What the, what the hell? 
what the hell I added Babel and Pack in a web VR project. Uh, uh, because of uh, the components in, in the frame are just uh, uh, JavaScript functions, and very simple functions, actually. Um, uh, let me see, okay, and uh, I installed Babel and Webpack because uh, I would like to enable ES6 and ES7 features to, to, write, uh, to, write, to write JavaScript because it's better to maintain and testing the pro projects. Uh, I, will, I will write less code and uh, front-end developers, please. Who, who set up a web pack here? It's very boring, eh? Yeah. It's, it, it's terrible. So I do that for you. That's a, that's a point. And now I have the, uh, I have the environment necessary to, to build ES6 and ES7 JavaScript syntax. Next, Nunjux. Uh, Nunjux is a template engine. And I use it to, to break the HTML tags uh, of a frame to, to reuse code. Uh, some, some people could ask me, why don't you use, didn't you use uh, React, for example? Because, because React is not for stat content. Template engines uh, work much better to stat content. Um, what I did, so I, I, I have partials, I have extended layouts, I have block content. I'll show some examples. Don't, don't care about the code, just, just say, here I have a layout. So I have the blocks inside, a, inside of a framing structure. This is the main structure, sorry, the main syntax of a frame. So I have a scene where I define, okay, I have a scene here, I have the assets of the scene, and I have the content, the, uh, the, the content that you show my model. This is the example of the, the image page that I, sh I showed before. Um, here I have the page, so I need just define the blocks, I have the image, and I have the content to show that image um, rotating with that component. So I can uh, I reuse templates. So it's not a, it's not a, a new. It uh, will be the, the page built uh, in the end. So uh, the, the old and good dry don't repeat yourself. That's why I, I put a, a template engine in this project. So I finished the boilerplate because I, 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 I copied and pasted a lot of the same structure. This, this boilerplate saved my life. Moving on. How to still improve an experience? Because uh, the goal here is create applications as immers immersive as possible. And remember, as cheap as possible because we don't have money. Yeah. With that purchase, it's expensive VR gadgets. So uh, I will show you a GIF again. So nowadays, this, this is what means full immersion. You have the full immersion today. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not built with web VR. It's just an example. Uh, and uh, the, the guy is really having fun. And uh, all the movements are captured by, by the, the, the model, by the, the scene. So how can we approach it on WebVR? Uh, so let's try. If you, if you remember, we have some, uh, some device uh, move actions uh, and orientation uh, working with uh, JavaScript events. So, I will talk specifically the, about the z-axis. Uh, how we can, uh, how we can uh, simulate 
the the movement and the moving of a, of a person uh, of a user. So uh, the the next the next project we uh, we sorry I, I was trying uh, simulate this that that moving. So uh, generally we use the gyroscope as orient uh, orientation event. Uh, I've tried using the accelerometer to try. Uh, capture the the movement, uh, the the walking direction of the user. I had too much work, really. When I I, I applied the the talk for the the conf, I I had some good uh, results. So so <laughs> now I had bad bad news, and I show you why I I I couldn't do that. So. Beginning the 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 sad uh, the sad uh, story. To work with accelerometer, we need to remove the noise. Why I'm saying about noise? Because if uh, again, if uh, I I put a console log on my event accelerometer event, and just let leave the the the, the smartphone on on a surface. I will have that result. This means that your smartphone is stopped. <laughs> yeah. The, so how we how how can we treat that? Uh, how can we uh, remove this this noise? So uh, the first approach. I tried to calibrate the, the the smartphone. So I start application. Okay, the smartphone is calibrating itself. So I I let the smartphone. I leave the smartphone on on the surface, and uh, uh, after some time, I, I receive uh, a array of uh, of data, a array of uh, accelerometer data. Get uh, getting this data, I can uh, I can move in. Moving on for the the next step, normalize the accelerometer. So, I can remove that uh, that range to to get the movement. But it 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 doesn't it doesn't work as uh, as as well uh, like uh, we talked to you. So, uh, after after tried some some math. Expressions. Uh, uh, of course, I'm going to try again, but uh, I, I have failed in this project. Unfortunately, uh, I, I have a, a slide for that. I failed, and I will show you what happened. Okay, look that. Here I will have the real environment, and here I will have. The VR, the uh, VR environment. So, oh God. So, the <laughs> okay. So, so uh, here I, I will show a, a model. So it's uh, it's strange, uh, really strange. So it's a room with some wall and floor. Uh, look that. It's me with a cardboard-like box. And here is the model. So I have uh, I have the wall, the the floor. So what happened here? I need to walk very strange to to its work. So don't worry about that. Okay. So that's the result. But look at the the camera didn't stop when I stopped it too. So what's the problem? Here just stopped because uh, we had a wall there. And in iframe we have the physics uh, feature, but I will show you another another example. Um, here I don't have the wall, and the camera is still walking, and the floor will finish, and I will fall out to the eternity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I was. So. <laughs> <laughs> that that was a problem uh, walking and 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 removing the the noise because the 
the the the the, the, the function didn't understand uh, that I I was the de decelerated. Another point, and if I walk slowly, <laughs> nothing happens Be because it's a, the the difference of noisy and the real movement is too small. So, uh, okay, it's really hard. So. Uh, of course, I, I let a little bit this project, I leave the, a little bit this project, because the accelerometer is not so accurate. Uh, it probably, it probably, uh, uh, no, uh, I, I, I can't use that uh, now for, for, for do that kind of movement. Uh, so, I will start the, my conclusions. Look that. Uh, so we have VR gadgets are expense. Okay, uh, think of your users uh, always because you you need to to create user experience, right? Uh, figure out different web alternatives to interaction. So we have new kind of interfaces. So let's create uh, uh, new things. And, uh, and new approach, okay? Bar plates are much useful. That's, that's why it's my proud, I'm proud about this project, right? But accelerometer is not a good option for moving. Uh, probably I, I didn't try hard, but I, I promise I, I, will, I will try again. So, uh, Future projects. What, what, I, what I talk about future projects because I have an idea to to put a, a WebSocket integration on the boilerplate. Why? Because when I start up a, a server, I can build a socket server too, and I can create debug tools. I can create for uh, for mobile when uh, while uh, another user is is wearing the, the the cardboard, I can create a spectate mod, mode to see in li uh, at live um, what happened in the in the animation the in the environment, and I can create multiplayer feature. I can put uh, uh, lots of people inside uh, of a VR environment and let play. So uh, another project create the environment CLI. Instead of uh, clone a Git repository, uh, I will install a, a CLI and uh, it will do the things for me. Uh, I can, instead, uh, uh, more, uh, say more about the CLI, I can create small pieces like scenes, components, and other things. And I will try again create the accelerometer normalizer to, to, to move using WebVR. And finally, my answer to this question, uh, how should we enjoy WebVR right now? So my answer for that is make it easier user accessibility. That's my answer. Thank you very much. <laughs>